went to Jordan in, to search out works for this Iraqi show that we were interested in presenting to, in Texas, I, I was fortunate enough to go to his studio and the moment I entered his studio after seeing several of the works, I realized that I was in the presence of a master, an artist who was so, well, just from the standpoint, everything, standpoint of craftsmanship was really involved in creating per perfect works, extraordinary works from an, an expressionist or from an expressive standpoint was producing really important works that were accessible to anybody in the world. Rafael Nasri is one of a generation of modernists of uh, Iraqi art. He's actually um, what we call the generation of uh, 1960s, um, meaning that there was a generation in Iraq specifically that preceded him, what the generation we call Ruwad, the pioneers of Iraqi art, that included his teachers. Um, the artists like uh, Jawad Salim and uh, Fayek Hassan, who actually taught at the um, Institute of Fine Arts and the Academy of Fine Arts, where Rafa initially studied before going on scholarship in China. الناصري من الرسامين النادرين في تاريخ رسم الحديث في الوطن العربي فن يجمع بين الجماليات المتاحة بصريا وبين المعاني العميقة في تجريديتها بمعنى أن المزاج الذي يرسم من خلاله وبه وفيه رافع الناصري هو مزاج تركيبي بين متناقضين بلادي طين وذهب فكل هذه لها علاقه بالعراق لها علاقه ببغداد لها علاقه بالتراكمات اللي تصير على جدار التاريخ بس اذا ممكن نخلي هذه جواها عن الحالة البيئية الخاصة للمنطقة كان يأثر بي وأعتقد أنه هو التماس الروحي بين الرسام وما بين المتلقي To him, it was a way of sort of developing a psychological connection to the environment. It is about, you know, you, you see 
the connection to the environment. It is about, you know, uh, the, the northern desert of, of Iraq. It is about um, memories or sort of images uh, from his uh, childhood. But it is also about a, um, the idea of a horizon in terms of looking beyond just the immediate. One work, for example, was called Seven Days in Baghdad, and it featured a, an, a, a woman, a mother figure, with her arms outstretched, screaming, essentially. And the rest was uh, fundamentally an abstract parallel that was, that reflected the, the shock and awe attack of the, of the gun. So there was the reference to war as well as uh, done artfully and magnificently, but also the, the, the scream, the feeling of pain that not only the artist felt, but many people have felt about that attack.